Hello there everybody, I am back. Now I know I did not release a Medieval Engineers update last week, but that's okay. I'm going to take last week's update, I'm going to take this week's update, and mash them together. Mostly because they actually go to go together quite well. I'm really not even going to differ differentiate between the two, that's a big word, in this little update video. So basically what I have here is a little guard tower that I built. Now, um... After I watched the actual update video, I noticed that this is one of the example towers that they said that you can build. But basically, the new blocks that they have added, there are these stone block round large blocks. We're going to grab that. Um, they have added the stone wall slopes, the stone wall tops. I'll go show you those now. I really haven't done much with them yet. I spent all my video prep time building this. But here we are. Here this is the stone wall top, stone wall slope. And this is really rough, but basically it's for filling in holes left by roofs and stuff like that. Now this looks like total and complete shit, but you get the picture. You know, it's it's this isn't far from perfect. It was just kind of to show you that, you know, it's to fill stuff in. It's to fill in little gaps that you have. I know that they have the, uh, like this wooden wall top and this wooden wall slope. You basically use them like that. I'm just hit a cup. You use them like that, except if you want the stone kind of appearance to it. Not kind of appearance. It is stone. It is stone, motherfucker. But, yes. So there's that. We also have some new other blocks, such as the stone wall large round window, which I think I already have in here, but I've kind of fucked everything up, so I'm just going to drag all of the things back into the hot bar down here for my using pleasure. Alright, so here, I have the base. I'll actually just kind of uh, give you a little tour in here as I step inside. I used these uh, large round blocks to build the circle and then filled it in with just the square blocks. This is just the staircase that has been in the game for a while. Um, okay, this is awkward because this was letting me up before. I might have to remove some of that uh, wooden flooring. That's okay. Point being, uh, these wooden floors now that that are right here, these wooden floor round large, will fit properly now because that was just waiting for uh, this to be implemented. As you can see, it fits very perfectly, and from the outside too, you can't see the wood on the other side. The result is something that's very, uh, very seamless and looks quite nice, to be completely honest. So we have that going for us. In addition to those new things, we have these uh, stone large storm platform round large, which is actually what we're standing on here. They call them the advanced battlements. This is what is going all the way around. And we also have the stone battlement round large center, which are the battlements that I placed on top of those the round large you know, stone platforms. So all those round large blocks go together and I form this uh, this nice little tower. Now if I go to the structural integrity, it's actually uh, quite structurally sound. There's nothing that is uh, screaming that it's unstable. The most unstable thing in there, well I mean, that's yellow because it has all that load on it. But that's to be expected. This building is in fact structurally sound. And yeah, it looks quite nice. I, it kind of reminds me of, like, um, Age of Empires or something like that. I don't know. And anyway, it's w windows using the window blocks. But I'm going to show you guys really quick how to place this. So I'm going to try to find a relatively flat location. Right here looks good enough. Now, place the first block wherever the hell you want. Now, how you actually place these is a little bit tricky. Because, sure, you have your... Um, your keys that you can use to rotate them, the delete and page down. But uh, what's really important when you're working with these rounded blocks is your mouse wheel because that will mirror it. See, I can mirror that. You can see how it flips itself around. It's right there. That's the kind of fit we want. If we use the mouse wheel, though, it'll look something like, like that. The exact opposite. It just mirrors it around, as you might have guessed. So we place that, we just continue to fit everything like so. 
and we are actually out of terrain there. So I'm just going to... Oh, I need to... Be gone, terrain! We don't like your kind around here! Get out of here! You so silly terrain! We don't need you! I'm kind of just making a mess. Yeah, I'm kind of just making a mess. But, yeah. Anyway, back to that. Well, you get the picture. You basically just need to continue the, uh, the cycle here. I'm building around. Building around. And you get the picture. Eventually, you will get a... Uh, Actually, why don't I just spawn one of these new ones down? Guard tower. I'll sp can I spawn it in the air? It won't let me spawn it in the air anymore. There. Okay. You'll end up getting that really nice silhouette, just perfectly round. And from there, you build up the walls. And yeah, they're just good to go. And the end result, as you can see, is quite pretty. Um, quite functional as well. Now, um, they've also added some new roof tile blocks to actually make use of the, um, these new large blocks. And that's what I use to do this. And apparently, you can also take, like, combine multiple different types of, um, what's up with that, of roof blocks now. So I'm going to test that out really quick. Now, this is what I used before. Oh wow, I did not like that being deleted. Okay, well, basically, I had done this before on this. You can form various different shapes and sizes We're using the roots combining different shapes. You can kind of do that before, but they have just added more options now to fit with uh, this much rounder, the much thicker design. Fear its girth! So, yeah, there's that. That's a pretty nice update. And of course, we have the uh, you know the large the round large door offset. We have the round large door, round large window, which I have incorporated here. This right here is the door. It's just kind of floating right now because of how I spawn this in. And then we have the little windows, and it all just fits in quite nicely. But I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to delete, start deleting shit for you guys. Just delete, 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 delete. We can watch, laugh, and watch as uh, things go falling down. Actually, th this would be a good place to show you right here. Let's just clear all of this off. Oh, there goes that. There goes the neighborhood. It's a little off because uh, when it seems like when you spawn these larger blocks, it's it's not all in one. See, when I'm looking at this battle, and this was all one block and I placed it, but it'll delete individual sections of it, like that. No, this is mostly intact, this top portion. So, now I can really show you guys the placement. This here, that we're looking at, that's down there, is the stone platform round large. I'm going to be grabbing this stone battlement round large center, I'll just throw it right there. And now you'll really get the feel for it. Okay, see right there? That fits perfectly. We move it here, and it's not going to fit. We can mirror it, and there it goes. Now, as we move over here, we're going to have to rotate and uh, change the mirroring, and there we go. And you'll get the feel for it as you go, but just kind of remember that as you place it, you have to mirror and de-mirror, I guess you can say. Like right there, it'll fit. Mirror, it'll fit. And that same process that I just used there for placing these battlements will apply for the walls, for the windows, for all these round large blocks. It's again, takes a little bit of getting used to. I'll just kind of go through that again really quick, except I'll use a different block. I'll use um, some of the walls. Same kind of placement design, though. Same process. Right here I have the round large walls, and I'm falling. It's okay, I swear. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. All right, so we have the wall selected. I'm just going to start it, not down there, silly. I'm going to start it right there. It can be a little tricky at times, as you can see. All right, screw it. I'm just going to start it right there. Oh, you know what's going on? It's because uh, it doesn't want to fit into that block. So I will build it right in here. Now, see, you have to mirror it. 
you move it over there, and then see if you mirror it here, it won't do anything. So you're going to have to rotate the block, the mirror, rotate, the mirror, you do all that. You'll get the hang of it as you go along. It's really not that bad. Just keep in mind, don't get frustrated if you're just sitting there with one of these lower round blocks just spinning around like, why it no work? Just remember, mouse wheel. You can scroll through that, and now, bam, it works. That was a pretty good impression, I think. I should uh, get a sucker for that one or something. Do I get a sucker? Is that a thing? And there, I have added another layer of wall on top of what I already had. Now, I kind of want to just screw, fuck around a little bit here. How high can I go before it collapses? It's going to, like, fall onto one of my other creations. This is why I can't have anything nice thing, anything nice. It's collapsing! No! And if you want a little durability test of this tower, which I haven't actually done yet, um, large projectile thrower times 10, that's not really realistic. We use just a large projectile thrower. So the only thing I've messed around with this tower is I just took off the topmost thing of the roof. So it's basically all good. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna throw it at this tower now. Ready? And throw. Obviously, you can take this design and you can further reinforce it. But, I mean, it took a hit. It's still standing. Um, the staircase is... The little staircase is still accessible. And what happens if we go up here? Oh, this is okay. Let's look at the structural integrity of this of this bitch. Oh yeah, the structural integrity has definitely been uh, compromised a little bit, as you might expect. What happens if I threw that there? At what point is it just going to collapse? I mean, it's got to collapse at a certain point, right? Oh, that's orange. That turned orange. Oh, there it goes. I think that that might be critical. What is holding this thing up at this point? Nothing. It's all going to go tumbling down. Ah. So, yeah, that was just kind of a proof of concept showing you guys how to actually build these with these round large blocks. You can make better designs that will um, be more durable, just be able to do more things. And, yeah. And you can make all of these uh, stone slabs and stone slopes not totally suck. But, remember what I said at the beginning of this video when I first started talking about them? Use them like you would the, their wooden counterparts. They're just for filling stuff in. So, yeah. Alright, is there anything else I did not cover? Let us see. No, I think that's just about it. Everything that I wanted to touch on. It is worth noting, however, if you have not seen the, uh, the update video that, that they put out, the official one, um, multiplayer is in the works, and they say it will be here soon. Whatever soon means, but with Keen, it usually means soon. They're quite good at uh, keeping their promises and releasing on time. So, I would expect that in the next few weeks. Um, again, not going to promise anything for them. Don't get mad at them if it's not the next few weeks. I mean, things happen in development of uh, this kind of thing. But, yeah, so far this game is looking excellent this this week's update and last week's update really help uh, complement the building system. It makes things a lot more interesting. You can build more stuff. And I don't know about you, but I like more stuff. And I just want to start throwing shit at stuff with this uh, times 10 projectile thrower. Be gone, trees! Can I hit a tree? I hit a tree. I see it collapsing in there. Alright. See, this is why I can't, I can't you know, go anywhere more than once. My friends can take me places twice. Once for me to fuck up, and the second time they take me back so I can apologize. Then we get escorted out by the police, and I have charges brought up against me. But that's a story for another day. Not actually. That doesn't actually happen. It's just me being stupid. Don't worry about it. Trust me. Everything's okay. But this video has gone on long enough. We're almost at the 15 minute mark. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you want to see some of the other videos I have going on. Most notably, I have Running with Rifles and Space Engineers. Those are two of my more popular series. 
Oh, don't forget to share this with your friends. If any of you guys want have any requests of things you want to see built, don't be afraid to let me know. That goes for medieval engineers, star maids, space engineers, just anything. I love taking on little projects or big projects to work on. And so does Lord Fury. He has been in some of my other videos, and if you're watching this, Lord Fury, hi! <sighs> Until next time, though, this is Brian from Strombully Games, signing off.